Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back with our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2021 in Pro Cycling Manager 2021 and we are on the last stage before the first rest day, stage number 9 and what a stage it is, another stage in the mountains, lots and lots of climbing and a magnificent final climb, not the steepest but certainly one of the longer ones and plenty of climbing beforehand to make this one proper hard. So what are we going to do? Well, same strategy again. Try to limit our losses with Alaphilippe, because uh, from the looks of it, we can't really compete with these two guys here who are, um, yeah, do doing quite well. Of course, this looks very different uh, in reality at the moment. I'm not going to say anything about that, or more than more than that. But uh, yes, very surprising to the France, and I hope it's not going to be a complete seal clubbing moment for uh, the the guy in white. So uh, let's let's get racing. And welcome to you all. It's a many of high mountains that awaits the riders on this second alpine component of the Tour de France. If the last finish in Ting had to be abandoned in 2019 because of a mudslide, the Tour is back this year with a final ascent of 20 kilometers. We're in for a big show. Oh yes we are. Oh yes we are. That is a big final climb. But also what I'm seeing is a very polarized setup for our team. And whew, well, I, I think I would rather have had this plus four on the uh, Morvon 2 stage, but uh, no, no, maybe, maybe not, because this one, holy, 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 this is, this is a good roar, plus four. So we have 80 mountains today, which will make it pretty easy to actually stay with some of the favorites for longer. Okay, I've set up the team, this is looking good. The tactics for today, try to get to this first uh, intermediate sprint with uh, Ballerini, who doesn't have the best of days, but um, he certainly is still capable compared to other sprinters. And then we see if we can grab any points there, and from there it's just like hold to the front, and we shall see what happens. No, no one for the escape group today, because this stage is um, not, not really for anyone but climbers. But, on the other hand, there are tons and tons of SKPs, which means there are basically no points left. Yeah, okay, well, uh, so much for that plan, unless they are being chased down, which uh, might happen. We're getting into the first climb, very steep one, right around the corner there. Uh, that is an interesting categorization they're choosing there. Like, right when the steep bit ends, it's the category, and then it's still... A lot of mountain to come until the sprint rating. Oh, look at that. Jumbo train. Oh, man. Okay, everyone but Roglic in there. They're setting the pace. It is a nicely controlled pace. And uh, I, I don't think it's really worth to even consider sprinting there with so many riders up front. Uh, how many are there? Uh, hard to tell because you can't fucking scroll in this list. But yeah, anyway. So, um... That I doubt there are any points. I mean, we can sprint because there's nothing else to do for Ballerini. Okay, well, there is the sprint rating. Is anyone... Oh, fuck! That, there he comes! No, 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 not not Tim! Ah! That was probably the last point. Let's see what happens. Ah, no, it wasn't too bad. The difference was one point. But, uh, yes. We were pretty close to that bottom end there. Two points for us. Uh, for Tim Melia, it's uh, three points. Uh, Afrumi is sitting right, right there where he belongs, in in name only, unfortunately. Oh, look at that! The early forming of the autobus, Greipel and uh, Cavendish lurking back here. And we are now making it across the first category climb. It's almost at the top, not not quite. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go down again. Um, but yes, the next one is the proper, proper steep one. That has a long, long section of super steep terrain in it. All right, this is what is up next. We're heading into the first and second category climb combo. 
Col de Pré. And there we go. Van Aert, Van Aert, Van Aert. And there's no Alaphilippe on there. I'm now letting Ballerini and De Klerk and all the others slide. Um, while I'm making sure that we invest just about enough to stay with the front here. I don't want to overspend on um, kind of surges they are making. I doubt they are going for surges at this point in the stage. This seems, uh, well, this would be a little ridiculous considering this massive valley we have to get through um, before we can attack the final climb. Oh, the road narrows. I'm not in the best of positions, that's for sure. About halfway in, still holding on, but our resistance is dropping. Alaphilippe is slowly crawling back to the front as they have dropped the tempo slightly. As long as Van Aert doesn't take over, we should be fine. And we're almost at the top anyway. It looks like Cataneo might be able to hang in there in this group over the crest. Let's see. Let's just up him to 99. Yeah, 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 he's still in here. Okay, let's see how hard they are going to go up this one. That's uh, a, certainly a kicker. There was not much room there for recovery. So they might just shake off half of this group if they go hard. They are taking it pretty easy. But Cataneo is now empty. So that's halfway. Which means he is going to be lost. Oh, attack by Quintana. Quintana goes onto the oh, now they are really pulling. Responding to that attack. Oh, no, no, they've decided against it. The time to give up oh, Cataneo, come on. Hang in there, mate. Hang in there. Oh, just by a thread. Come on. Yes. Down oh. Down. Somehow, somehow he, he managed to stay there. All right, we're bought down in the valley now. Uh, I gave Cataneo the, uh, the job to sit back and enjoy the ride instead. So he doesn't have to be in here and, and hammer it with this group. Uh, who is entirely too fast going into this climb. The race situation is quite interesting. This... Uh, group, this massive peloton remainder, has now only 1 minute 7 down from the escape group. So we have really hauled them in. And the escape group is uh, not much. Quintana up front there, or not quite at the front. Um, so yes, I think Quintana here looks like the only one who's uh, a threat. And as I say that, they are letting them go away like so easily. We're just riding 35 kilometers an hour in the flat. Or almost flat. False flat. So, tactics for the final climb. Um, it's not the steepest. But... Uh, I fear them going way too hard into it, as per usual. So, what I'm going to do is... That's still 20 kilometers, 22 kilometers... Until the top, and then there's a flat bit. Uh, of about two kilometers length. So yeah, we do need plenty of resource for this one. Uh, maybe limit 70, grind it up there. The issue with that, however, is that this indeed is a climb where you, in many parts, actually benefit from being in a group because it's not steep enough. So like these middle sections there, it would be quite nice to be in a group. So I think I'm willing to go a little bit too hard here at the start. Uh, 75 is too hard. And lots of attacks going. That's beautiful. Who's going? Gordu and Martin and Valverde. They all just think Alaphilippe is weak. And they... Oh, Thomas. Is he weak too? Yeah, we are now approaching those shallower sections. Let's see how quick they are attempting to go. This is looking way too hard, way too quick. Come on, hang in there. Yeah, okay, that was barely, barely good enough. Um, still, yeah, at 27 kilometers an hour is not really worth it, but uh, as soon as it flattens out over here... Valverde goes into the attack. 
Okay, no, now we are grinding on ourselves, by ourselves, because this is just ridiculously fast they're going. Lusenko is out, Nibali is out, Soler. Yep, uh, we do have a few big names down here with us. I doubt they are playing the same game as we are, in that we actually have the resources to be able to follow them, but uh, just don't want to use them this way, because it's inefficient. Yeah, I think I'm going to hang with the Port Bagel Buchmann group for a little bit. If you could accelerate slightly to get into that group, that would be fantastic. Come on, join them. No, you're not supposed to be distanced here. Come on. Come on, join them already. There we go. Okay, let's hang in there a bit, get another bottle, and then... I guess we are grinding up the steep section. Oh, Roglic is actually attacking. Hmm. So now comes the uh, difficult portion of the climb. So at this point, I think we we just go with our our bar. That should be as oh, there's our name. That's that's more powerful than any bar. Uh, Michael Woods out, and we're slowly getting back to close the gap to this group again. Yates, our Thomas is faltering. Mass. Oof. Yeah. The second step now coming up. And we're closing the gap more and more. Now it's just 40 seconds. And it looks like we're closing it entirely, in fact. Yeah. Okay, nice. So it's Carapaz and Pogaccia who are up front. And then Roglic is leading out. Yeah, okay. How much have they destroyed themselves? I think completely by now. Whoa. Damn it. 700 meters left to go. We're now leading this group. Almost out of yellow bar. But um, can we catch them on the flat with this group? Maybe. I mean, Carapaz, Pogacar... Yeah, Pogacar has a really good flat rating. As does Roglic, okay. Hmm. This will be tough. Um, Carapaz should be should be possible to catch. If these guys have any kind of drive in them. Let's see what happens. No, doesn't look like it. So what we're going to do is uh, light the, the fuse on the sprint... We're not going to get any bonus seconds here, but we are going to cut down on their advantage. So, um, yeah, let's accelerate. Let's go. There we hammer it, and oh, Garpas is dead. I don't know. Whoa, that was that was close. We wouldn't have gotten uh, Pogacar, but um, that was a good move. And there we go. Oh, that was a little sprint by Pogacar. So. They actually finished together on the same time. And there comes Alaphilippe. <laughs> All right, podium time. Where did we end up? Just 14 seconds behind and getting bonus time. Nice. So let's take a look at the final standings. The stage looks like this. There was this big group which we uh, arrived in. With many of the favorites, they kept together. But we did gain some time on those guys, which is fantastic news. Um, and in the general, now it's looking like this. We are 45 seconds down. Garen Thomas and Carapaz are uh, well behind us. And the only one who's a little dangerous there is, for the time trial is Garen Thomas. But of course, for the Von 2 stage, all these guys will be uh, way better than normal Alaphilippe. He had an exceptional day today. So this, I guess, if they see him riding like this, in reality, they would be uh, getting a little scared. This is like, what, 2019 levels of Tour Alaphilippe? Yeah, something around there. Um, anyway, the other ratings are pretty much what you'd expect. Alaphilippe still leading there. 99 points for Ballerini, and yes, apart from that, Mountain Jersey, Bagel is taking that one, 32 points at the moment, under 25s, boring, and Team Jersey, Ineos Grenadiers. And with that, I hope you enjoyed, 
and see you guys for stage number 10 in two days time. Hey you there, I heard you like cycling games, I think I got something for you here. The Cyclist Tactics is a turn-based strategy game in which you lead a small team of professional cyclists from humble beginnings to competing for the top of the podium in the toughest and most prestigious cycling events in the world. In the highly tactical, procedurally generated races, success comes about when superior decision-making meets careful resource management and planning. Teamwork is essential to keep your leaders protected, avoid peloton pulling duties, create lactate threshold crushing lead outs and to set up your lead rider in perfect position for the final dash. Guide your team's riders as they gain skills and progress from struggling eager novices to monument winning superstars with a hefty price tag and more flaws than they started with. If you fancy Nuance tactics where decision making is king Follow the game's development and try out the demo.